It's a minute past five, the latest BBC Radio Cumbria news with Sean Hall. A Cumbrian MP says part of the county could have its beauty damaged by giant electricity pylons because it's not formally included in the Lake District National Park. John Woodcock, the Labour MP for Barrow and Furness, has organised a New Year's Day walk and rally to gather opposition to the proposed new pylons over the Dudden Estuary and Furness Peninsula. He says the area is in danger of losing out through an accident of geography. What, unfortunately, we've seen time and time again in this area is that this beautiful part of the Lake District... One of the the most wonderful parts of England in in the Duddon Valley has its wishes rode over because of the fact that it is not formally part of the Lake District National Park. There'll be more on this story in the news hour. So this is it, the final news hour of 2016. Uh, Normal service resumes on Monday pretty much, doesn't it? New Year's Eve tomorrow. I have details of a walk on New Year's Day and this is in the news because it's to do with pylons in the county. A public consultation about major new power lines that could be built across sensitive landscapes in the south of the county is nearing its end. New pylons would carry electricity from any new nuclear power station that gets built near Sellafield and while the cables would be buried within the Lake District National Park and under Morecambe Bay, they'd be on full view above ground elsewhere. So this weekend on New Year's Day on on Sunday, there'll be a protest walk against this idea and it will be led by the Furness Labour MP, John Woodcock. The majority of the community is robustly in favour of the the new power station up the up the West Coast, but there has to be a, a balance between the the beauty of the area that we're in and the power that we provide for for the nation. There are a number of alternative uh, routes, uh, options in in getting the power that will be generated by these new nuclear power station, uh, this new nuclear power station, to the rest of the country. And what we, what unfortunately we've seen time and time again in this area is that the be- this beautiful part of of the Lake District, one of the one of the most wonderful parts of England in in the Duddon Valley, is. Um, it has its wishes rode over but because of the fact that it is not formally part of the Lake District National Park. Um, that is completely unacceptable. And so we, th- this walk that we've, we've organised for New Year's Day is part of trying to tell the government and National Grid that they need to think again about the, the plan to, currently to put the, the power cables on giant 50 meter high pylons running right the way through down down that beautiful valley if they did go underground where where would you want them to go where would you put them well, there, there are um, there, there are a number of a number of alternative proposals. I mean, my my view is that they could uh, they could be undergrounded through the um, through the Duddon Valley. Um, perfectly possible to to do that. And one of the great frustrations that that we have is that there are undergrounding proposals, rerouting proposals that have been treated as um, modest adjustments in uh, further up the um the that west coast and uh, and then uh, and then along towards Kendall Kendall way which we're told are completely impossible or uh, prohibitively expensive when it comes to the Duddon. now you, you we you cannot have one well we should not have one set of rules for um one part of our community and one for another this is it really is. We are part of the Lake District in in the Duddon Valley. It is a, a place of wonderful beauty. Of course, it's been um, it immortalised by by Wordsworth, and it's enjoyed not only by um, the the community who live there, but many many thousands of people visiting the Lake District every year. And um, the, it, it it is just not on to basically commit uh, visual violence mm. which is what will happen with the um with the sk- the size of the pylons which are being suggested national grids making it clear that there isn't the money to put all the cables underground though this is what we find um the uh the the, the most frustrating thing from from national grid because they have bent over backwards to um, come up with proposals that uh, at, at considerable expense uh, to underground in areas further up to to miss out particular areas. If if this were genuine, genuinely um, 
only about the bottom line, the very least cost to the to the project, then we wouldn't be going through the Duddon Valley at all. And in fact, we're coming. Uh, we are proposing to come down uh, the Duddon and then um, go underneath Morecambe Bay at very considerable. Uh, very considerable expense. So the idea that all of that is fine and a modest proposal, but uh, that little bit of extra extra undergrounding which would be needed to take it through the Duddon without these uh, eyesore pylons is is just not on. And uh, so I'm hoping that as many people as possible will join us on the walk that we've we've organised for New Year's Day, and and that people will also take the time to to email into the consultation which closes i think the following the following week just so that as as many of us as possible make our make our voices heard on this that's john woodcock the labor mp for barrow and furnace if you want to join john for the walk on new year's day they're setting off from two locations from broughton square and also from Ascombe. that's 9:15 for a 9:30 start of that walk